Now, if you've been following this uh, series on stencil, you should uh, already know how to move your crocodile left and right. You should have your jump sorted out, gravity sorted out. And if you've watched the last video I made, you might even have the double jump, which we added last time. Now, there's one huge problem with my game, and possibly your game as well at the moment, which is this. It's all working very well, and I can now put platforms and baddies in here, but if it's an old school and I'm talking old school here, if it's an old school platformer, you really shouldn't be able to do that, which means that my crocodile can go off the screen. Now, what's worse is I can actually jump off the screen and kind of never come back. If we're going to fix that, we really need to go old, old school. That means our platform game, our character can't run off the edges of the screen. Now, of course, later on, we need to write games where the screen scrolls or when the character jumps off the screen, a new screen loads. We're not going to talk about that in this video. Let's at least fix the problem of our crocodile jumping off the edge of the screen. So what we need is an edge detection. So what we're going to do is we're going to again add a new event and always when updating event, I'm just going to rename this right now, which is let's call it check edge of screen like so. This is actually quite a simple one. What we're going to do is the following. We're going to put in an if we need to check the position of our actor, our crocodile. So what we're going to do is check the position. So if, and of course we need a flow here. So we're going to go here. So if the X of self, if the X of the crocodile is less than zero, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll just try it there. If the X or if the crocodile's X position is less than zero, then what I want to do is actually push him back on to the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to actors and position and I'm going to set the X to 10. So literally I'm going to bounce him from the edge of the screen, which is all the way on the left hand side. So if he touches the left hand side, I want the X to kind of push him back into the screen by 10 pixels. Let's just test that and see what happens. So let's just check. So there he goes. And if we go to the edge, you can see kind of just knocks around there. It's kind of cool because, you know, I can kind of bounce off the edge of the screen. I can't fall off here. So let's go and fix the other side, which means we need to go back to the ifs, stick in an otherwise. I'm just going to grab a greater than there. And again, we need to check the position of the actor. Again, it's going to be the X of the actor. And this time it's going to be above. Now, this one you have to kind of experiment depending on how big you've made the game. For me, I think 730 works, but you're really going to have to check where the edge of your screen is. And what we're going to do is, soon as my crocodile hits 730, I'm going to push him back 10 to 720. So let's just check that out and see if that works. Now, of course, if it doesn't work, you just go back and adjust your numbers. So if 7.30 is too much, then the crocodile is going to keep falling off the screen. And if 7.30 is too small, he's not even going to make it to the edge of the screen. So let's, you can see that his tail goes off. Now, in this case, it doesn't look so bad. But if I did want to change that, yeah, that's still working. If I did want to change that, if I didn't want his tail to go off the screen, of course, 730 is too big. So you could most really make that 720 like so, and then make sure that you're pushing him back. Of course, it doesn't have to be 10 pixels. It can be five, it can be one, but beware sometimes when your set X to, you know, whatever is too small, uh, your character can kind of get stuck in the screen. Uh, so I like to push my character right back into the screen. Obviously don't make it 50 or 100, otherwise it's gonna look really strange. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Still a little bit off the screen, but I can kind of live with that. So that is a very quick checking the edge of your screen. Now that can be that kind of code can be used for almost anything. So that can also be used for bullets. So if you, you know fire a bullet across the screen, you want it to disappear when it hits the edge of the screen. Otherwise, it's going to kind of fly forever and games can crash when uh, characters just keep doing, you know, going forwards or backwards forever. So this code over here, this little snippet of code, you can use for just about anything to check 
the edge of your screen. So I hope that helps uh, some of you out that need to keep your character inside your screen.